How's it going, everyone? Today I'm here bringing you another episode of Charlie's Funs and Fries Rebooted. I did say that title a couple of times wrong, though, but hey, in the last episode I did um, completely finish off the first three nights. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for that synopsis. So without further ado, let's hop right into night four. I did get some little tidbits of advice from Sir Satire on the you know, last episode as well. And yeah, apparently far away. You don't have to close the door whenever that character shows up, apparently. They just go straight to the right side and just camp there for, not camp there, just bang their faces on the door and close it in time. So yeah, this is night four. And uh, a couple of characters do show up at like their own specific like, doorways as well. I don't know if there's anyone else that's like anyone new that pops up, they look see. There you are. Yeah, see? Immediately goes to the right side. Yeah, there you go. So yeah, 12 a.m. We're chilling right now. Nothing bad's go Take that. <laughs> Pity here is I uh, believe that I'm about to not be on this planet anymore. Are you no, you're not gone. You're just gonna stand there for the oh, you're not there. And we're gonna open those. I don't know where Charlie's at. I don't know if anyone else is at. Other than like these four characters here. See. Oh, hello. You're not supposed to be there. None of you supposed none of you are supposed to wander around in the first place. Okay. We're good. Okay, good. Oh, oh, hello. No. What was that? Good. We are fantastic. Like, I don't even know which way that he goes as soon as he finishes his, like, little, uh, siren dance that he does in the window. Okay, the, that door is clear. Alright, 60%. Not bad, though. Not good, but not bad at the same time. That. Okay. There's some... Alright, good. Did anyone see that in... In the parts of service window, am I just crazy? Something popped up in the middle. Excuse me? Is someone else popping up in the... Oh, no. Oh, no, man. Is someone else coming on through? Or am I just in... disappear from existence. What? Okay, now that's worrisome. Farley? Please not. Okay. Good. Oh, son of a... something. Yeah, there you go. But I'm not opening that... Well, never mind. I take that back. I'm opening that door up anyways. Conserve more power, 33%, 4 a.m. Is anyone seeing that? Like, whenever Charlie spawns in, I think some of his, like, body parts are just, like, glitched out in the office. But it's fine. It doesn't break the immersion or anything like that. Good. We are fine. Now we aren't anymore. Because you're here. And you're gone. 
goes over to the door. And you're there, so I'm not opening up any of my doors. They disappear a whole lot faster though, so that's also good. Okay. We are gold. Okay. Oh. I tell ya, it's the fan all along. It's appeared in like almost every like iteration of FNAF that I've ever seen. And it's 6 a.m. Haha, <laughs> night four has been complete. That wasn't that bad actually. Characters are becoming a whole lot faster though, so that's something to keep an eye on, but yeah, this is not that bad so far. Okay, so let's move on to night number five. Now, before I started playing through all this, I had to like uh, restart all my progress since, well, apparently there is some bug. Or not something wrong with the dreams, apparently, that Sir Satire told me about, but hey, we're back here and I played through all those uh, first three nights again. And we're still here. <laughs> we're still here. Okay. So, not anymore if this continues. Oh, our Farley. Hello. Yep. We're getting to the action here. Fellas, and you're at the door. It's cool that he has a unique mechanic. Well, everyone here has a unique mechanic. What? Oh, that is terrifying. So there's a normal animatronic. Like <laughs> So if I hear like an audio cue off to my left, I gotta, I gotta deal with them. I gotta deal with that narwhal. So it's this. What? Okay, I got jump scared by the narwhal a couple of times. Do, do I have to do something for it? That's a lot. Watch them up. Do I have to close both of the doors? Whatever that means. Hello. If I hear like a... I don't know. Because it's so... Uh, oh, that was by luck. Weird. So wait, if I hear like a... Oh, is this like a mind flip? Where... If you hear something on your left, you're supposed to go in the opposite direction. Here. Really? What? Buddy. How do I deal with the narwhal, man? deal with the narwhal because that one oh. oh hello so my hey. so what am I supposed to do about that and you're going on a that's the narwhal character. I see. Look, someone's in the parts and service room. I'm not insane. Look at that. Someone's in there. It's already 2 a.m. I'm at 50%. Go away. supposed to deal with that? Okay, what keeps popping up in the middle? Because, like, I don't know. Alright, uh, can you get your... Yeah, there we go. There we are. 
bump your head on the old rusty door. What is that? Alright, you know what? I'm just not gonna worry about that. Because that's nothing concerning me. I don't. attacked by that narwhal yet, but I did get jump scared by him a couple of times. Yeah, there we go. You blink out of the distance for me, okay? Yes. So we are at 12%. Not bad, but still bad. 4 a.m. Oh my god. Risky bit. Nice. 5 a.m. Charlie hasn't shown up yet. I think. But Farley has. Okay. Okay. Can you please go away? Oh my gosh. Dude, get out of here. Oh my, and my door batteries are out. So anyone can come in the office and get me. Or if they, yeah, I'm a goner. I'm a goner. What? Hey, okay. So the fifth night has been finished. Okay. So I'm going to go with uh, night six here and see if I can beat it. Oh, yep. Something always happens on night number... Okay. So who am I dealing with now? Oh, my goodness. This is weird. <laughs> is this back during the early days of Charlie's? Who is that? Um, okay, I'm kind of concerned here. Because I don't know who that is. So I have to keep flipping through the... Yeah, this place is breaking down, isn't it? Okay, look at this. This place is not looking too good. Does he have one of the doors? Oh, look at this. It's breaking reality right here. Oh, hey. Oh, my. Oh, so every time that I flip through the cameras, I think it breaks reality? Oh, hey. I have no idea. I mean, at least I'm... Something right? It's like you don't have to... Okay. This is weird, man. <laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna have to... Okay, I hear something progressively getting more and more loud. It's like if I keep... What is that? I see something moving out there. Okay, good. Um, what in the world is that? This is trippy. Uh-oh. 
This is not good. Oh, I got rid of a couple of them. Okay. Okay, this is... This is so weird, man. I know there's something up with that psychedelic TV. It's the mastermind behind all this this entire time, huh? Okay. And look at that! There is something out here. Get rid of all you. I don't know if that's working, though. I mean, it somewhat is. I didn't have to... Bamboozle anyone with the doors thus far. Go to that. What is that? I see something floating around out there. Get all this out of the way. Dude, check this out. Okay, let me get through all the cameras. I'm at 40% 5 a.m. I am pretty is that something? Wait. I see something there in the door. All this. Am I about to get jump scared by a TV endo? Because it is 5 a.m. That's something there. No, it's probably not. What is going on? Oh, wait. Is that like a gi gigantic Charlie or something? Yeah, this this place right now, the fabric of reality is tearing at the seams. Oh, oh. Uh oh. What's going on? It's 6 a.m. Things are getting slightly more worse as time goes on. This Charlie's not real. It's just this Charlie's. Like, a simulation this is tight. What? Uh-oh. The door is flying off of its hinge. Well, it's already gone, so... Let's get rid of those TV endos. I'm almost out of power. I think I have to survive until 8 a.m., most likely. Yeah, look at that, 7 a.m. So I think I'd just, you know, survive until 8 a.m. or something. Are you... Holy moly, this is weird. But what is that? I keep hearing, like, this weird alien-like noise. Are you... 7 a.m. Probably one more hour should do the trick. Or what if I had to survive until 10 a.m.? Yeah, this is strange. Look at that. Looking off into the internal... Day by day, screw by screw, each model is never enough. I get sick of this chipmunk's face. I want to see someone else, but with the criminal record and her being gone, there are seven options. Slave away, or... or there are two options, sorry. There are slave away, or... Be sure to watch Tiffany for me. She doesn't deserve any of this. As for me, Sayonara. Are you trying to hang? Thanks for being part of the Charlie's family. Oh, I recognize this character. Yeah, see? Oh, wait, who are all the... Oh, okay, Bobby and Paul are making a return. way to the back room, messing with the power. Once he leaves, close the left door. What in the world? Got ourselves a custom night here, so can I go back to the menu? Oh, that is weird, man. Okay, so I will go to the extras here. So that Charlie endoskeleton that we did see in that found footage, that was at the uh, end of completing those night shifts on uh, Polar's 3. So everything does connect here. There is a little cinematic universe that I'm 
witnessing. Look at that, Charlie Chipmunk. So this is the main guy who runs the entire place. Okay, and there's Farley Frog. All right, nice to meet you, man. And there's Fink Fox. So you're a fox animatronic. Okay, Roxy Raccoon. Roxy Raccoon, okay. Not to, get, not to be confused with another uh, Roxy character. Uh, not a wolf animatronic, totally not. Newman Narwhal. Look at this dapper looking guy. Alright, and there's Hecavision, or whatever. Yeah, this guy keeps like popping up all over the cameras. And that's it, so that's every single one out of the extras, so can I? Part two. Oh, I get to look closely at the models too. Look at that. So there's Charlie, Harley. Let me look at your little face there. Oh, I can just. That is so accurate. And there's Fent uh, or Flip Fox. I don't know. And there's Roxy Raccoon. <laughs> you have like a permanent shock uh, expression on your face there, don't you? And there's Newman Narwhal. Look at you, man! All dressed up for the occasion. And then there's Heck of Vision. Oh, look at that psychedelic effect. See, I knew there was something on the screen. I was like, huh, that's weird. So, those were nights uh, 4 through 6. A very interesting turn of events for night 6, though. Really cool stuff. Now, in the next uh, video, I will try to get the custom night finished. Of course, because I'm kind of insane, but yeah. So there's Charlie, Farley, Fint, uh, Roxy, Newman, Hecavision, Chad, Endo, Polar, and Bobby. Of course, these two characters I've already dealt with, but I'm happy dealing with them again in this custom night mode. And I am awaiting for their return, so yeah. If anyone has enjoyed or at least made it to the end of this video here, please be sure to leave a like, comment. If you uh, haven't subscribed already, then please hit that big subscribe button down there. It'll mean a whole lot to me. And uh, if you are subscribed, then please hit that bell to be notified of any future videos that will upload here onto the channel. And that's it. So yeah, see you all in the next episode here where I take down the custom night mode. And uh, yeah. See y'all.